right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the special live stream of King Frederick X's proclamation in Denmark. You'll notice just right before I went live, I went ahead and put in the chat a link to, and let me see if I can pin it to the top. Uh, well, I'll star it. I don't know if that works. Um, so I put in a link that you can see a live stream going on right now. And so this is with DR1, which is sort of the main Danish station. And so I don't know how much of it I can share like live just because of copyright issues and everything. But we do have some really exciting news because King Frederick is officially king now. Uh, Queen Marguerite has signed it over. So what we're sort of waiting for right now is the official balcony appearance. So I'll just pull up the live stream briefly so you guys can see it too. And so it, because it looks like it's an amazing, amazing day so far. So here is the current live shot going on right now. So Queen Marguerite has just returned back to kind of one of the palaces there. Can't remember which one off the top of my head. And then this is where they actually left this morning. So she's gone. She signed over the throne and she's going back. So that is a very, very exciting moment. And we'll just um, stop it stop it there but so many great images huge huge crowds so yes <laughs> yeah so uh somebody asked not 5 a.m east well technically 5 30 eastern yeah uh or western uh she wrote it in the time guns captions <laughs> yeah 5 30 is a little too early to be yeah it is an early morning because they are actually six hours ahead so guys, if you want to, again, hopefully check that out, the live stream, and then you can kind of catch up with what's going on here. And so um, I'm watching it. I have actually my iPad, so I have my iPad going at the same time. So I can keep it live because, again, I can't show the whole thing because of copyright. Uh, DM says, thank goodness you're doing a live stream. Surprisingly, not a single station is covering this despite Mary being Australian. People are fuming here. That's crazy to me. So hopefully this link to this website here and I'll just leave it up a bit so people can kind of find it too. Hopefully you're able to find it um, because it is a huge, huge moment. And that's so sad that they would do that, I would think. Um, and I did actually see a definitely saw an Australian flag in the in the crowd as they were going by. So um, I'm going to pull up a couple of things from my phone here. And we have a couple of things, too. We have um, Mary Ann McLaurin, who has become a new YouTube member. Hi, Mary Ann. I hope you're doing well. And then we have Maureen has also become, become a YouTube member, too. So, guys, good morning. Thank you. And so this is so exciting. And we know the younger kids are there. I wasn't sure if they would be, but we definitely do have the younger children in attendance as well. So this would be so Queen... So now, yeah, King Frederick and Queen Mary, they have four children. They have obviously their oldest, which is Crown Prince Christian. And then they have um, their next child, which is um, Princess Isabella. And then they have twins, actually, a boy and a girl. So Prince Vincent and Princess Josephine. So let me see if I can pull them up. But I just want to show you guys real quickly just the crowd size. Because this is so huge. Can, can you guys see how big that is? It goes all the way over here all the way down here over the bridge. And so this was their little route that they took. And so they will be making the balcony appearance right there. Um, so we haven't gotten there yet. That will happen at nine. So I decided to start the live stream early just because that way most people can be on. We can chat a little bit about what we've seen so far. And then we can get like the whole overview at, um, at, at nine when they walk out on the balcony, which I can't wait. That's so exciting. Isn't it so exciting? Balcony appearances. They're so fun. They're so fun. Um, so it's it's gonna be awesome. Cannot can't wait for what we what we have in store in Denmark. Um so Russell says Australian TV is so boring that it may as well be in black and white. They give might give five minutes to Frederick and Mary between three minute ad breaks. I don't understand that. This is so cool. I like, again, there's a part of me that so wishes I was there right now. There's this part of me that so wishes I was there. And um, you ask about tiaras uh, and dish. there will be no tiaras. This is actually a very like laid back affair. So there won't be any. And so you can go ahead and check it out. Uh, Kyler says, good morning, only 11 a.m. here in UK, so setting alarm to remind me, see you sooner. Yes, I was really, really struggling with trying to figure out like exactly what time because <laughs> they had it in military time. We don't do military time here in the States, so, you know, it took a little, little bit of brain power. 
Um, so Red's good morning from Chicago. And we have Tasmania, Australia. I bet you all are very, very proud today, JL Mackey. Uh, Sky News on YouTube has good coverage. That is awesome. I kind of like just, um, although I will say the Danish coverage from this channel, I felt like when they did the procession, like every time somebody got close, they like cut the feed. <laughs> I was like, you guys missed the best moments. I don't understand why. Um, so, but this is the actual, the link I gave you is actually from Denmark. So this is the main Danish channel sometimes. At least what I found when I was in Sweden covering the Jubilee, obviously the country where this is happening gets preferential treatment in terms of positioning and everything generally. Uh, Diane Edwards, hi from New Hampshire. They're making their way to the palace now. Yeah, no pictures. Queen um, is on her um, route to Christianburg Palace. So I did record that whole thing. So I will pull it up for you guys here. And so you can, again, yeah, still check out the live stream. We haven't, we're like 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes away, or no, sorry. We're 20 minutes away from the balcony appearance. So while that's transferring over, we'll go through is crown princess Mary in white. Yes. I kept hoping that we'd get some more pictures, but haven't yet. I usually use Getty images, um, but the Getty images don't always cover the Scandinavian Royals quite as much. So the picture I saw was like pretty, pretty minimal, but I've seen a couple others, but yeah. So it kind of, um, is similar to what we've seen in actually other royal families because other royal families, the women have worn white. Obviously, Camilla did earlier this year, but we also had um, Queen Letizia and Queen Matilda of the Belgians. So there is Crown Princess Mary in her look, and I still can't believe she had a little more than two weeks to get this together. And I would feel like for me, if I was going to become queen, I would want like a month or two at least to like finalize my outfit. <laughs> Uh, cause I, otherwise I feel like, wait, I, that's not going to be right. Um, darn. I'm kind of trying to think of one of the Danish websites. Okay. Uh, morning from cold, great and cold Virginia, no snow or rain though. It sounds like your weather is very similar to Denmark. So <laughs> good afternoon from Norway. Good afternoon. And we have UK here, Maureen. We have Bebe, um, from Denmark. Good morning. And we have Alinda. Good afternoon from Spain. And we have um, from Vienna. Meow. Oh, my goodness. Greece. Oh, this is so fun. Holly from um, Australia. And this was, um, I'm not sure, actually. Nick, I, I see Nick. I don't see him more. So I will have to bow out a little bit here. Okay. So, oh, and it looks like here they're getting prepared. But again, it should not happen until 1500. So that is three o'clock. So they will be doing some Looks like maybe some um, setup and stuff, but that's an exciting moment. And let me pull up a bit of the video of them leaving. So again, this is so fun. Oh, I love it so much. Isn't it so fun to see? So um, I started it at just the right time. So we had, so this was the car. And so this was um, now King Frederick and Queen Mary leaving the palace here. And in, in the car behind them are their um, two, four children. And again, I will have to say it is a bit odd because I feel like they kept cutting when you would about to see somebody, they would cut again. And I was like, wait, you're about to see somebody. Why are you cutting again? Um, so that was, that was fun. But yeah, so they left in a car and then Queen Marguerite for her kind of last walk of, um, walk about here was in was in one of their carriages so there she is in some gorgeous ruby earrings oh i think she's so relieved i think she is so relieved she's like yes i am done i don't have i love my children i love my country and everything but she's like i am done oh hi chris a good verba from denmark and sweden oh so exciting um uh, Carly, good morning from T um, Tuscan. So excited. So very happy to share the excitement and joy with you all. Yes. So much going on. So exciting. It is amazing. And the crowd there, it just keeps on building. And so uh, you got this crowd here, which is crazy large. Look how big the crowd is. It's so big. So this is a newer shot from the live stream. So 
very, very big crowds. Um, having been in crowds like that, there's always like a little bit of fear because it's like, it's just so crowded. Um, but I would have totally done that, although preferentially would have had, definitely would have had a sec, um, press credentials. So yeah, and Sky News is lovely, another lovely option for those interested. We also have e -Mag. greetings from Wisconsin. Very excited to view this historic day with you. The crowds are incredible. They are, they're huge. Um, Queen Denmark in a coach. Yes. And then she drive and she drove back to the palace in a car. So it's kind of like, kind of like there. In, in, uh, she's like went in a carriage and then back to the palace and in a nice car. I mean, it's a very nice car. Hello from Gothenburg, Sweden. Oh, so many. God save the King of Denmark from Sweden. <laughs> All right. I almost missed this. Thankfully got notification on. Good morning. We have Michelle. Good morning from Pennsylvania. We have um, RD. Good morning, everyone. I don't care what all the trolls say. Brittany is the best reporter around today. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. I'm so excited. Yeah, the trolls have been uh, active recently, which is always, it's kind of cyclical. They kind of get intense and then they kind of go away for a while and then they come back again. It's just a cyclical. So, um, but yeah, so many, we got, oops. Oh, and people are on rooftops trying to get the view, which I mean, it would be the best, one of the best ways to do it. Cause the worst thing is, is having a bunch of people in your face and all of them raising their cameras at the same time. Um, so I'm so excited that to see so many people out there for crown prince or King Christian, it's going to take me a while to like change up. So Albertine, good morning from the Netherlands. And we have Rosa from Galicia, Spain, and um, Vic Victoria from Poland. Meza from Australia. Wow, I feel like this is like such a multicultural live stream this morning. So exciting. And so um, I do want to grab... Did I... Oh, no, I put it on. Sometimes, guys, I got too many things going on at the same time. Okay. Wait, I thought I recorded... Uh -oh. I thought I recorded something, but maybe accidentally I did not. So, um, again, huge, huge crowds that we got here. All right. And I can't wait to see all the people. So excited for Denmark. Hopefully, maybe you, if you can look for an Australian flag. I know they're, they're a little bit somewhere. So, very exciting. Very exciting moment there. So, so many people. So many people. Whoo! Oh, wow. Oh, it's so crazy. It's so fun to share in these type of things. So Queen and Marguerite has signed abdication witnessed by King Frederick and Crown Prince Christian. They are on their way back to Emlenburg. God save the king. Yes. Been watching for hours on other channels. Scared I will fall asleep. Oh, Deborah, good morning from South Carolina. We have Millie's mom. I guess the live stream isn't happening. Sad to miss the event. Should have looked for other channels. Yeah, you can still find it. So I did, um, I started, I didn't know, um, can't really put it in the top, but I did go ahead. It's at 831 in the live stream. I posted a link to a live stream that you can get from Denmark directly. So you have another, which I would say was probably God Save the King here, which channel it's on DR1. Um, no, you haven't missed anything. Uh, so... Yeah, I was on Sky and a few other channels, but they say he wouldn't appear for number 35 minutes. Yes, yeah, so he won't appear quite yet. But again, always good to get things going, not like five minutes before. And it's just so exciting to see everyone. Again, such excitement for King of Frederick and Queen Marguerite. And I know everybody's so, so thrilled with all of her great representation over the last, um, how many years it's been? 52 years. So I think she has... Needs a well-deserved break. I think that's good for her. Um, so Sky News is showing in Australia. We have um, Bodica from um, Missouri. Good morning. We have M. Matthews. And then Anne. Good morning from Connecticut. Is Brittany ever on time? I am on time sometimes. Um, so I get there. But sometimes there's a lot of things going on. Uh, I was trying to cover things at the same time. And so that makes things complicated. Okay. They're showing a close of the balcony. But I don't think it's. It's not time yet, so they can't be trying to get things. Okay, let's just refresh that so we are 
at the same time. Oh, maybe that one was a little bit ahead. Okay. Uh, congratulations to the new king and queen and good people of Denmark. Best wishes for long and healthy reign from the UK. Naomi, hi there. Carrie from uh, Canada. Congrats to Frederick and our first Austria Aussie queen. Lorraine says, at least you sound better than what we can hear now, Brittany. Oh, good. <laughs> Uh, we have hi from South Africa, Lizzie. We have Marilyn from Wales and Betty. And congratulations to the new king and queen. Greetings from Chile, Southern Pennsylvania, DP. Is he proclaimed yet? Yes, he is. So it was just kind of sweet. I was hoping I caught the video, but apparently I did not. Um, and so if it comes back up on the stream from Denmark, I will show it. But it was kind of a sweet, like a bittersweet moment in a lot of ways. It was kind of... Um, she signed the papers and then Prince uh, at the time who was crowned Prince Frederick, or I guess he might've been King. I don't know exactly quite, but he kind of had this sweet thing where he was almost not sure what to do. And you could tell she was a little bit emotional because she had gotten up from the chair she had signed and he still was like almost not sure. And then he just does give a little bow to her, which I thought was so sweet. And so just a great um, mother son moment there. And it, and she actually did leave right after that, pretty much. And so she was kind of like, I'm done. I am done. And I think she was so excited for that. Um, just to have that kind of um, break. And then there was a sweet bit here, too, where um, Prince Christian went over and grabbed her cane for her, which I thought was, again, a very sweet little moment here. And so um, that's him. He's passing it to her right there. This is from the live stream earlier. So he's passing her her cane. And so, and then I thought there was another um, awesome little bit here where it's just kind of the, the, the three monarchs of um, past, future, past, present, and future all there together. And Frederick's kind of looking at Christian and Christian looks a little, maybe a bit emotional too. And Queen Marguerite's like, all right, boys, it's all you. I am done. I loved it. I loved it. All right. We have Leticia. Good morning. Thank you, Brittany, for having us today. Hello. Randall says the Daily Mail has a live stream channel, which might help you. Yeah. Um, hi, Brittany. Good morning to you. I would like to know your opinion about Princess Catherine to be given royal warrant by King Charles. Hopefully you can do a video on it in the future. Yeah, if it happens, I will. But um, at this point, since it hasn't, I'm not going to put too much effort behind it, but it will be really cool if it does. Uh, Lee, I was quite sad watching her sign the documents and just walk out the door. Everyone just turned their backs, carrying on. Yeah, it was, I mean, it's just kind of emotional and I'm sure strange for Frederick and and Christian because, you know, he's he was a like a very small child when she became queen. Like he was he's 55 now. So he was three when she became queen. So that's really all he's ever known is her being queen, his mother being queen. And so for this to be the first time that, you know, she. She's not that for him. It's got to be so odd. Oh, and Terry, thank you so much. You gifted five Royal News Network memberships. Thank you. That is awesome. So hopefully if somebody's interested, that would be fabulous. Yeah, it's 3.30 in Cape Town. So I think you're an hour ahead. Yes, because they're supposed to come out in 10 minutes, guys. 10 minute countdown. Okay. <laughs> uh, Artie says I have two li laptops so I can I'm running so I can watch both yes and so it just goes on but yeah I, I know somebody yeah she had tears in her eyes when she signed the papers she did and I think she was really emotional but I think also I, I can't I, I would just believe that there's also a sense of relief it's like oh I'm done I finally like because you get to this age I think and you're just like oh you know life gets you know, harder. She's lost her husband. All her sisters have lost their husbands. And so I think she was like, you know what? I'm, I'm ready. And I'm like, good for you. Good for you. So it was Queen Marguerite that now princess. This is a great, great question. No, she's not. She's still Queen Marguerite. Um, this is sort of what they had announced through the process. And so that is what she decided. Obviously, Queen Beatrix or former Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands is now Princess Beatrix. So but, and we have Belgium and Spain. That is not the case. So they're the former king and queen. So, yeah. So, Ashley Joe, good morning. Thanks for the dedication. You look so excited. I am excited. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, Lorraine says, can uh, please, can we keep the chat to Denmark in the chat? Yeah, I think that would probably be uh, like as much as possible. That would be awesome just because that is what we're commemorating today. Uh, Charlie, fun fact, Crown Prince Christian met Lisa Simpson in a Simpsons episode in 2018. Oh, that's so funny. I wonder why. I wonder why. That's so that would that just seems so odd to me. That just seems so odd. Okay, so since it's getting closer to the moment, I will just pull the live stream back up a bit. So this, again, is from Denmark. And just so we have it ready and prepared for the moment, eight minutes away. I love balcony appearances. They are the best. And it would be awesome, too, to see what Queen Crown Princess Mary is. Or Queen Mary. Oh, my gosh. I, said, ugh, I almost did right, and then I didn't. Um, Queen Mary is wearing JL Mackey. Yes, Queen of from Australia, Enchantress. Brittany, is a rumor that the queen will still be queen regent true? Yes. So she will still be, she won't be titled queen regent, but she can act as regent. So apparently, I guess in order it goes, if I remember correctly, it goes um, Christian, Marguerite, Mary, and then Benedict and one other person who I can't think of right now. So uh, maybe Joaquin and so that are Joaquin and then Benedict. So that's kind of how Regent will work. So Queen Marguerite will be Regent uh, if, if ever necessary. So that's like, you know, Frederick's out of the country having surgery or, you know, really, really ill or something like that. She can act in Regent in his stead. Uh, Mary says, so agree. Australians are fuming no live coverage in Australia, which seems so weird to me. Um, so yeah, she will be queen. She won't be queen regent in terms of, except for if she is regent in case of, um, um, Frederick being unavailable for some reason. Uh, Lungingo says Sky News has better visuals. The other networks be showing that brown door. <laughs> oh, and it looks like they're gearing up to, from what I can see here, may show up here in a second. It looks like they're gearing up as well down here for, um, some sort of um, um, cannon fire. And you can see, I think those are all maybe press people up there too, possibly up there in the stands, which is crazy. I'm not entirely sure because there, there are pre press people in the front because they had scaffolding and stuff for it. But you can see large, large crowds. So they will have a gun salute. Uh, Crux on YouTube has a camera on the balcony. That's awesome. Karen says, hi from Sweden. Uh, teacher uh, Ray Samantha this is my first time witnessing a coronation from Denmark, but this is, it's not a official coronation. The only coronation that is officially still happens is in the UK. This is simply a proclamation, like very, very simple. Um, coronation has like a religious element and stuff. And it's not that here in Denmark. Um, so is a dowager queen title still used? Um, it could be used in this instance. It will not dowager queen, I think is in part because the king dies and the queen is still alive. And so she's a dowager queen because she's not. Hold on. All right. There's there's the balcony doors, just in case anybody's curious what they look like. That is it right there. Basically, everybody wants Buckingham Palace built a balcony. Everybody has to have a balcony now, <laughs> which I find so, so entertaining. I, I find it very entertaining. Uh, do you think they will have a party to celebrate the new king and queen? They may, but may um at some point but no there's like no i mean they have a, they'll have a couple of events and stuff but there's not a very big you know it's not like the big coronation like the brits although the brits i mean they had a reception and stuff for all the invited guests and everything but we didn't have any sort of official like massive tiara party unlike the dutch the dutch had probably the best I would say they had an inauguration is what they call it. They had the best one because they had tiaras. They had tiaras at the event. They had a reception with, you know, before with tiaras and the reception afterwards, just lots of fun. Um, the other ones haven't been quite so kind of, I think, awesome because everybody came to the, the Netherlands one. Actually, Charles went to the Netherlands one. Um, oh, I realized I didn't turn my overhead light on. Uh, she's still Queen Marguerite, but not Queen Regent. Yes. Um, Matthew says, very cool. It was not as fancy as a Brits, but seems more family infested. Yes. Yes, 100%. Australia, 1137. Oh, that's kind of cool. That would be kind of like the time in some places would be right. They walk out right at 12 o'clock the next day, technically. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, Naomi says, uh, what a big moment for Mary. Yes, huge. A, 
an Australian queen, guys. Lisa, hi from Lake Tahoe, which is early there. Uh, Kenia says, I'm from Denmark, and she will be Queen Marguerite, just not acting queen, so not queen regent. Yes. <laughs> Hello, made it. Hello, everyone from Chile, Scotland. Oh, yeah. Lots of questions. She will be Queen Marguerite still. Her title really doesn't change. And she can, of course, act as regent if ever needed to by King Frederick, although they will first pass it to Crown Prince Christian. But since Christian is so much younger at this point, he's just 18. I think they would maybe, maybe, maybe um, give it just a little bit of time. So, guys, three minutes to go. Three minutes. Three minutes. No coronations in Scandinavia, only proclamations. That is right. Oh, no. Windstorm in Canada, no power. That's sad. And, oh, yeah. So, obviously, we had the, the stuff with Crown Prince Christian in October being seen with another woman. But uh, is Genevina invited? No, she is not. She's not there, I don't think. Um, and she shouldn't be. And I doubt she would be there. Uh, Evangeline said they had to turn people away because there's no more room along the castle. I imagine it was so. I mean, obviously it was the same at the British coronation. So I would imagine it'd be the same there. Hello, when will they go out on the balcony? Two minutes now. It's, it's 8.58 my time. So it would be 2.58 their time. They come out right at three o'clock. And I think they've been pretty on time because I started filming their kind of procession around the streets at um, about 7.30, which is about when it was supposed to start. It was supposed to start at 7.35. They gave for the press and you could, and anybody in the public could access it. If you go to the media center, it was easy to find. Um, but they, they gave what kind of the press breakdown was and the press breakdown is always the best because they, you know, they want the press to be there and they want them to have the right times and the right angles and stuff. So, all right. Good morning, Brittany blessings from Puerto Rico. Great to watch this moment in the making. Thanks for all your hard work. Of course, of course, she is so refined. Queen Mary, she is. Good morning, everyone. Exciting news. Yes, such an exciting occasion. I'm so, so stoked. I can't believe it. And so let's see. Okay, so almost. Oh, we have a minute to go, guys. Let's see. Do they come out on time? Um, does Australia have any coverage? I've heard from a couple of people they don't have great coverage. So, um, Chris, are you there in Copenhagen, actually? Cold and damp in Copenhagen, but enormous cheer and celebrating. That is so awesome. Yeah, it looks chilly. It looks chilly. <laughs> Lorraine says, like a weight off her. Yeah, you really feel that weight has been lifted for sure. For sure. Ashley Joe, I love the fact that Queen gets to watch her son being crowned. What a special moment. She looks so happy. Yes, I feel like this is where Europe is going. And I love that because it's a moment of celebration instead of a moment of, you know, tragedy or what have you. And so it's just really, really exciting. Okay, so here we are. Here's the crowds. So huge, guys. So massive out there. Look how big. Oh, <laughs> I love this. Ritz, I'm too old to do crowds anymore. I hear you. I could not do the coronation again. I don't, a coronation in the UK again, unless I have credentials. I don't know if I could do it. It was, it was a rough, rough day. All right, Pauline says, looking from Australia, but originally from Ireland, love watching you and staying up on YouTube. So no, as no Aussie channel has it on their channels, it's 12.40 a.m. there in Sweden. Oh, well done. I think I missed it, but there was this great thing of King and Queen Mary. So there are the doors. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here it comes. Oh, are we so excited? Oh, you just got to love when the doors open. Oh, there he is. King Christian of Denmark. Oh, he looks emotional, doesn't he? He looks very emotional. Oh, there's the... Oh, he's crying. Oh, it's so sweet. And so here he will be officially proclaimed. Today is the Sunday, the 14th of January, 2024. <laughs> I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> Both the other people do. Of Kongeriet, see Dronning Margrethe in dybt følt og han giver tak. All right, we're just going to pull away for just a quick second, guys, and then we'll be right back. Tak for, tak for at løfte arven, klik den, 
og ansvaret. Tak for at forbinde os til fortiden og forberede os til fremtiden. Tak fordi I gjorde dem umage og meget mere til. Hver dronning og hver konge er et led i en mere end tusindårig kæde. Når den ene træder tilbage, står den næste klar. Og den kronprins, der nu bliver vores regent, er en konge, vi kender, en konge, vi holder af, og en konge, vi stoler på. All right, and we'll just pull away again here for just a quick minute for like copyright reasons and stuff. So, but lots of excitement from the crowd for sure here for the new king. I det vi hilser Danmarks nye statsoverhoved og ønsker lykke for hans liv og gerning og dermed for Danmark, skal jeg efter dansk statsgik tre gange udråbe. Hendes majestæt, dronning Margrethe den anden, er abdiceret. Længe okay. leve hans majestæt, kong Frederik den 10. So exciting. Majestæt, dronning Margrethe den anden, oh. er abdiceret. Længe leve hans majestæt, kong Frederik den 10. Ah, so exciting for him. Hennes majestæt, dronning Margrethe den anden, er abdiceret. Længe leve hans majestæt, kong Frederik den 10. Yes, oh, and he does look a little bit like Michael Sheen. I definitely see it. <laughs> Og nu, oh. et nifoldigt leve for hans majestæt, so cool. Oh, so exciting and just gonna, oh, there he is. Great, right, gonna pull away for one quick moment, then we'll be right back. Min mor, hendes majestæt, dronning Margrethe den anden, har regeret Danmark i 52 år. Gennem et halvt århundrede er hun fuldt med tiden med vores fælles arv som afsæt. Til altid vil hun blive husket som en regent ud over det sædvanlige. He just looks so overwhelmed. It's so sweet. Har som få formået at gå i et med sit kongerige. I dag går tronen videre. Mit håb er at blive en samlende konge af i morgen. Aww, so exciting. Det er en opgave, jeg har nærmet mig hele mit liv. Mit ansvar, jeg tager på mig. Med respekt, stolthed og stor glæde. Det er en gerning, jeg vil gøre mig umage med og bære gennem den tillid, jeg møder. Jeg får brug for alt den støtte, jeg kan få fra min elskede hustru, fra min familie, fra jer og fra det, der er større end os. Fremtiden går jeg i møde. Vidsheden om, at jeg ikke står alene. Forbundet, forpligtet for kongeriget Danmark. Uh -huh. Yay! Oh, that must be such a big... Okay, oh, uh -huh. look at him. This must be so, like, he's like, I just didn't know when this day would come and he wasn't totally expecting him, but... Oh, there she is! Oh, oh, so nice. There she is. Let's see. Oh, oh, 
Oh, very sweet. Oh. Got to be Oh, there's Prince No, Crown Prince Christian and Princess Isabella is in red. And then you have Princess Josephine and Prince Vincent. Oh, Princess Isabella, she looks so pretty. Oh my gosh, she's I think 17 now. Oh, they're such a good looking family. Oh. Oh, all the kids are there. Oh, and she and Mary is wearing Frederick's order. So I don't know if you can tell if they do a close up again. But she's wearing actually an order for Frederick. She's the first one to wear it. And the twins just turned 13, actually. So Isabella, I believe. Oh, look, is there a balloon thing? <laughs> Somebody lost their balloons. <laughs> Ah, that might, wow, that's just such a crazy, so we're just pulling away for just one quick second, then we'll be right back. There they are. Um, I like that Mary wore white like so many of the other royal ladies have worn for their official proclamations. Ah, ah. And she's wearing her um, ruby earrings. The queen also wore rubies, Queen Marguerite. So it's it's um, definitely definitely matching in a very sweet sweet gesture between the two of them. Oh, are they about to go inside? So many people. Look at the crowds there, guys. And we got the balcony. And they're about to go. Oh no, are they gonna? Oh, they're gonna. The kids are going back inside, and mom and dad are gonna have a moment. Oh. Oh, maybe we'll get a kiss. I don't know if any is anybody yelling for kisses. I think they're singing the national anthem. Oh, and she goes back inside. Oh. 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 Oh, you can see the tears in his eyes a bit still. That's, wow. Oh, he wiped his tears. Yeah. Here in Denmark. Oh. Oh, balcony doors are officially closed, guys. So that was the appearance. Such an exciting moment. Oh, my gosh. What did you guys think of Mary's look, the kids' look? I thought especially um, Princess Isabella because she looked fabulous in the red and white and red obviously the colors of them are oh ooh, somebody's coming back oh we have one more yay oh coming back out one more time oh which is nice because obviously they were not out there terribly long are the kids joining them oh yeah oh uh -huh. And all the kids again. So exciting. So exciting. I know they don't stay out on the balcony very long, so it's nice when they come out again. Like this Wendy's Mary's dress is perfection. It is. Oh, and Isabella, I think, looks awesome, too. How lovely to be able to ascend without losing your parents. As an Australian, very proud of Mary. Yes, I think this is a great way to go. I kind of love the, 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 uh, abdication for this reason, voluntary ones, because I do think it allows the transition of power to happen under elements of happiness rather than just simply sadness. So, oh, we're just pulling away real quick. Oh, look at him. Oh, I usually have allergies, so that's why I'm sniffly. Um, <laughs> family Encore, love it. Yes. Yeah, I was definitely tearing up a little bit because it's hard, like when you see, especially a guy, be emotional, then it's like makes you emotional too. Um, so <laughs> the kids, the twins, don't look like they're thrilled. Well, they are thirteen. Thirteen, you know, you kind of get, you know, you have a little. Sometimes it's a very overwhelming thing too. You got to think as well. Oh, there he is. 
Love that dress. Yes. Yes, the dress is fabulous. I kind of like this angle too of them. And the kids are going back inside yet again. And mom and dad are just being out there. Oh, I'd love it if they had a little kiss. Oh, very nice. But she looks fabulous. Can you imagine? Can you believe she's had four children and twins? It's amazing. Oh, she looks great. Um, what a great moment in history. Thank you for covering it. Yes, <laughs> the twins want to, want to head back home. Yeah, well, I remember being 13 and I was not sometimes the happiest person, even in great, exciting moments. Aw. 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 Yay. That's what everybody wants, guys. So excited for Denmark. Aw. One more time for King Frederick. Aw. There he is. Yay. Oh. Mary looks amazing and so regal. She does. She does. Oh. And King Frederick is just so emotional. It's so sweet. Long live the king, guys. I know. Oh, the royal kiss. I love it. You have Stone Royal. Frederick is so handsome. He is handsome. Must be surreal for Queen Marguerite to be able to see her son crowned king and for the king to have his mother there and not having to wait for her to pass. Yeah, I think it's an exciting, definitely crazy moment for sure. And something you just um, didn't really happen because people died young. So we'll just, I'm keeping the live stream up just in case. Let me double check and see because I actually did write an email and sub stack about it and I just want to see what the next thing is and oh if you guys are in Denmark there is a fireworks display over at the oldest um, amusement park in the world so if you're interested in that okay so we had proclamation oh the king and queen will ride around Copenhagen and on um, in a carriage so the queen came to the palace in a carriage got out, left the palace in a car. The now king and queen came to the palace in a car and now we'll leave in a carriage. So we will be having that in just a minute. So I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, will the queen make an appearance? She will not, apparently. I was wondering if she would, but she actually just went back to the palace and she's like, I'm done. <laughs> Which is very sweet because you could say she is so popular. So it's nice because, it I mean, it would have been cool to have all three of them there so you have past, present, and future. But at the same time, too, it allows the the new, you know, reigning um, the family to really have their moment. So, guys, yes, we are done with the balcony, but there will be a carriage procession. So wait for that. Um, this has been asked a lot. What is, will the queen be named now? She'll still be Queen Marguerite. That will, that will not change. <laughs> uh, whale says the Danish balcony is so much nicer aesthetically than the um, British Royal family. I, I could see that a bit. Maybe it's just because it's darker and that helps because I know at least for the, the Buckingham palace one, it's, you know, light, which can kind of blow things out a bit. Do you think the queen did this because she saw how hard it was for the British royals? She might have. She might have. Um, I, I think that was kind of my supposition. And I don't think that's necessarily wrong because obviously she saw how the queen, although she had reigned for so long, she was in you know ill health towards the end and wasn't really able to really, you know, um, take a break. And so she was able, um, I think they appreciate, I think Queen Marguerite was thinking, okay, what do, legacy do I want to leave? And so I think that's, that's true. Molly said, sealed with a kiss. Yes. Sky is showing the signing of the books. Okay, that must that would have been earlier in the day because they signed things earlier. So um, in about 30 minutes, they will be doing the carriage procession. I forgot to, but I had the whole um, outline for it. So it'll be really exciting to see that for um, Mary Denmark. And then at five o'clock, they'll be transferring the Royal colors from Christianburg, um, the Christian, the ninth palace to Frederick 
the eighth palace in Elmenburg. So um, it, I don't know. It doesn't seem like people will be switching palaces. It doesn't seem like, because then I started thinking about it, but I haven't seen, I haven't been there in person to see how the palaces are set up. So this is obviously um, the palace that we've seen is Christianburg Palace, which you can tell right there in the top, it says what it is. But there is another palace complex, but it's kind of like a, a semicircle. So it looks like all the palaces kind of sort of face each other so that they live in different sides of it. So, yeah, and somebody's asking, why did she abdicate? It seems like health reasons were a big reason for her. She is 83 now, and so she's really starting to struggle with the, um, you know, her her knees and those sorts of things. So I think it's it makes sense for her and her back. She's had back surgery and everything, so I think it was an opportunity for her to just take a, um, a, a step back or two. And so um, I don't know if this is new or not. I don't know if he just came back out or if this is redoing. Oh, no, this was at 3 o'clock. So just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, but I think this is a, a replay of the earlier. But it could not be. But I still love his little, he's so emotional. It's so sweet. Yeah, so that was from earlier. Um, so you can see in, in the live stream, if you're seeing, you're seeing the prime minister come out again. So that was in... Um, Christianburg Palace. Oh, is our parliament the royals live in a conclave of four palaces? Okay, that makes sense because they kept saying Frederick the Ace Palace and Christian the Tenth Palace, but they're all at Amlinburg. And so I'm like, that must be like a complex. So, yes. Uh, so this is over at Parliament. So, again, we are waiting for the official carriage procession, which should start in about 12 minutes. And they've been pretty right on time. That's kind of the nice thing about royal stuff, is they're like right on time. Um, not always perfectly, but pretty much like dead on. So, um, and obviously a lot of talk. Uh, okay. So Chris, who lives in Sweden has been to all these places many times. Christianburg is where the official proclamation occurs. Amelienburg is four palaces where Marguerite, Frederick and Mary live. So, um, it seems like probably they'll stay in their residences right now. I don't think we'll be swapping palaces or anything. So, but still very, very exciting. Oh, castle, not palace. Okay. Um, uh, I can see why Queen Marguerite is beloved. Her judgment is impeccable. I'm sure her son will rule. Likewise, yes. <laughs> so, yes, this is Miss Pippa trying to get your attention. Yes, she's telling me that there's somebody outside walking their dog, and she needs to tell me that. Or she's, but thankfully it's not. Actually, once I stopped my live stream yesterday, because my sister's dog is staying with me for a couple of days. And they're, they're the same size. They're half sisters. So they're little Yorkies. And so she started, um, let's see, who's do we have here? Um, she, they started howling together. That was fun. <laughs> when I left the room, they were both, ow, ow. And I was like, what are you doing? What are y'all doing? So I don't know quite who this is. Let's see. Can we see here who is leaving? It might be the prime minister. I only see one person in the car. Oh, no, there's, oh, that's Joachim. So that's the king's brother. That's the king's brother. So he was there as well. So his kids were the ones who were, their titles were stripped and caused a little bit of a kerfluffle earlier last year. So I'm of the opinion that Queen Marguerite has personally been planning this for a long time. She just didn't tell anybody. She was like, in her mind, she might have told maybe one of her sisters, but she was like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm just going to be quiet about it. And I'm just going to like, cause she was stripping the titles for her, the children of her younger son. She was making, putting in plans to make Mary Regent. Like she was doing a lot of things to set up this. Oh, Amanda says, thanks Brittany. As there was nothing in Australia, I appreciate being able to see it in real time. One nineteen here. So off to bed. Yes. Go to sleep. Have a great night. Um, Danish men are such handsome men, but they are Vikings. They are, but there's actually a lot of connections, obviously, between the Brits and the Danes. I did a whole paper on it. Let's see. Um, I think that's still, I think that's still. Oh, Chris. Why, well, thank you so much. Royal treats for Miss Pippa from Copenhagen. Thank you so much, Chris. She will really appreciate that. I get her, I go and get, there's a restaurant that makes special dog treats, the ones she likes to hide. And so I go and I try to get her those or um, and stuff too. Please, what channel in Australia it is live? Uh, I don't know in Australia, but this is from Denmark directly. This is a Danish channel, and so that is what I'm live streaming from. Um, just because sometimes it's better, even though I don't understand it, like 
they, they have better access. They know what's going on a bit better sometimes than some of the other outlets do. Um, so that's kind of a way to get it as well. Okay. All right. And NAA, this was the other reason too. She might have been waiting for her grandson to turn 18. So Prince Christian just turned 18. So I think that was a factor in all of this as well is, you know, Christian turning 18. You have obviously Frederick being 55. And um, so I was hoping we'd get a close up of the car again, but I think that's just Joaquin. But I was just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything that might be the younger kids too, possibly, or maybe. His Royal Highness Crown Prince Christian. So he is the youngest crown prince. So I believe that's the king's brother in the car there in front because he is in um, a military uniform and is single. So maybe a Princess Marie maybe didn't attend, which is entirely possible because there has been some. Oh, see, I do that. They do this in the Danish channels. They, like they pull the camera right before you could see the person. And I'm like, why did you do that? <laughs> you pulled it at the wrong time. Like just wait five more seconds. And we could see him. So he's on his way back to the palace as well. And so he and his wife currently now live in the United States. And he's kind of an attache to um, the Danish, I think, embassy. In, and he's like, um, works in defense, I think, is my if my, is my recollection. Um, Alexa says rumor is she's dying. And that's why she abdicated. I don't think so. I think she's just, uh, you know, she knows her health is probably, I don't think, all that great. And so she's like, hey, you know what? I'm ready. I think that's um, a great way to go. And then she can also give some some um, advice to Frederick and, and Christian. Uh, Ritz says the fact that she was able to walk without a cane for a while after her surgery is unreal. She's a badass. Bless her in her retirement. Yes, she is awesome, I think. Um, and Lady Gabrielle, she's BFF with her sisters, too. A lot of the events that um, have recently um been undertaken by Queen Marguerite. She's been in attendance with her sister Anne Marie, Queen Anne Marie of Greece. Greece doesn't have a throne and um, Anne Marie's husband died last year. And so, and then her other sister, Benedict, she, um, her husband died, I don't know how long ago, but so they're all widows. They're all, you know, obviously getting up there in years and I'm sure they would like to just spend time together and um, just enjoy different things while, while they can. So I think that's, that's awesome. Okay, Prince, we know this uh, crown prince, crown 10 is Joaquin. So let's pull up again. And Prince Marie is in the US with their kids. I was, I'm surprised she didn't attend. But again, I think there is so, still some like bad, bad feelings between um, Joaquin and Marie and, and the queen in regards to the kids in the royal titles. Aw, Lizzie, thank you so much. Gifting five Royal News Net Network memberships. Why, thank you. I'm so I'm so excited. Thanks. I appreciate it this morning. All right. Yay. Okay. Um, oh, Ritz says huge thank you to those who are gifting our memberships. Yes, thank you. Who was on the balcony? Oh, whoops. Where was that? Who was on the balcony with them? So we had uh, Qu Crown Princess Mary, obviously, in white. We had Prince Christian, the future king, um, who's Crown Prince Christian. That, that'll take a little bit to get used to. And then we had um, Princess Isabella, who was in red. We had Princess Josephine, who was in navy. And then we had Prince Vincent, who was younger. So the twins just turned 13. And then we also had um, earlier, it was the prime minister who came out and officially proclaimed that Frederick was king. So, all right. Uh, welcome to new numbers. We have so much fun. We do. Queen Mary now. I know it was just taking me a little bit to get used to it because I'm so used to trying to do it right. Crown Princess Mary, Crown Prince Frederick. And they've been that way for a long time. So it'll take a bit. And, you know, it was different. I feel like when I didn't used to do the channel. And so I could kind of, you know, I would think something in my head and I didn't have to say it out loud. Once you say it out loud and you like remember, it's just going to take a little bit hard for my brain, a little bit of time for my brain to rewire and and remember correctly. <laughs> Isn't it so nicely organized? Yes, it is. It's very organized, very simple, very easy. Love it. Um, in case you guys missed some of it, here's his official speech once he became king. And the woman standing right next to him is the prime minister. Okay, guys. So we have about four more minutes here until 
the carriage procession through the um, um, through through the city, which I think is going to be fan fantastic. I'm so excited. Oh, Crystal says already asked, but no crowns is that a Denmark thing? Love seeing the new king's emotions too, and yours too shows deep love for this. Precisely why I love following. Uh, your channels. Why? Thank you. Yes. So they, I think, I think they probably do have some crowns, but they are in. They don't really use them. And unlike in the Netherlands, actually, where they do, if you watch the inauguration of King Wilhelm Alexander, they actually have like a little crown on like a a pillow, but it's actually like fake. It's like a fake crown. It's like not made of real gold, real pearls, or anything. And so it's kind of funny, like it's totally fake. And then Maxima's wearing this gorgeous tiara, which is real. Um, so I think I would imagine Denmark does have some, but they stay in a museum because it's just a proclamation. There's no crowns, there's no tiaras, there's no big kind of hubbubble like there is in the UK. But I do like the simplicity of this. It makes it a little bit easier because sometimes some of the challenges, obviously having really, really long days, so many things to do. And obviously they're still doing things and we'll have the changing of the, the colors from one palace to another and everything and representing that is now Frederick who is king. And so um, so this is this is the palace complex where the royals live. And so it's made up of four different palaces. And so it looks like Yakim has arrived back there. So but thank you. Yes, I'm I do love this. It's so cool. I was just so excited to see everyone. So but thank you so much, Crystal. I'm so glad you enjoyed it this morning. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous day there. So exciting to see a new king and queen. Um, so there the prime minister's name, prime minister met Freder, Frederichen. Frederichen. Didn't pronounce that right, probably, but I gave it my best shot. Um. <laughs> Oh, Evangeline, I keep up per with people who personally know the Donaldsons and Oz. It's not all happy right now. You guys should read good periodicals. Very interesting. It's always nice to hear from somebody who actually knows people. Um, but yeah, hopefully, obviously, I I don't I definitely think the tensions in Denmark between Mary and Frederick were were real for sure. Um, but what that means in the future, we don't quite know yet. Okay, guys. So in a minute here, we should start the carriage procession. Uh, uh, McCinder said, please show the balcony scene again. My power just went off as it was happening. So I will have to wait because I don't actually have it. I should have been recording it on my phone and I didn't. Um, oh no, I was recording it on my iPad. Never mind. Um, and so I will be able to show it to you guys again in a little bit. Maybe I'll try to put maybe a little short together or something. And so, but I won't have it right now because we're waiting at this instance, in about a minute or two, we should start a carriage procession throughout Denmark or North, uh, Copenhagen. Throughout all of Denmark, that would be a really, really long carriage procession. <laughs> okay, so we see the the preceding horses are right there, guys. It's about to start. It's about to start. So very exciting moment. It's always fun to see these kind of things. And so we'll just again, I pull away just for copyright reasons. So you'll notice I pull away at different times just to kind of minimize sometimes too long, um, including some of the video. Oh, okay. So thank you for the live stream. It's not being covered in Ireland. I don't know why, why don't people come? People don't cover the other Royals and it makes me so sad. And that's why I love going to the events for the other European families. Cause then I can, I hope introduce them more broadly to an English speaking audience because oftentimes they're covered within their own countries within Scandinavia, but not much outside it. So it's awesome. Um, Chick says that Mary was born down the road for me. I live in Hobart, Tasmania. I'm so proud of her. Oh, it's so exciting. Uh, Pedo says crown is only shown on the coffin of the dead monarch, but the last King funeral, his Navy hat was preferred. Yeah. And he was awesome. King Frederick. So he was also queen, King Frederick, King Frederick the ninth, because they switched between Frederick and Christian. And so Marguerite, that she would have been a boy would have been Christian. And so she named her son Frederick. I would have named him Christian, but <laughs> That wasn't my choice. Um, but anyways, what I thought was cool was um, that she, um, that he had a bunch of tattoos, actually. Okay, here comes the carriage procession. I love it. Queen, former queen comes in, new king and queen come out. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, yay. Oh, look at Mary. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, double, got to double check the hairpins. Always very important. 
very important to check the hairpins. I do not blame her for that. All right. Oh, and <laughs> Judas Go Barbecue became a YouTube member. Why, thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Um, oh, and so this, and the car following them, will it be the kids? No, that's security. Oh, no. Okay. Sorry. Excuse me. So they're coming out now. Sorry. I was thinking they were. So that's um, the BMW is security. And then we shall have a great view. Should be a great view here of the, the king. I wanted to say future king, but no, it is the king. King Frederick and Queen Mary. There they are, guys. There they are. Oh, look at that. So exciting. Oh, and they have a huge crowd to get through there. Obviously, lots of security. You'll notice lots of police. Um, I know somebody was questioning about that. But yes, there are lots of police there. Um, I think they closed in that area. Um, for the proclamation and then opened it up um, and then had to make this path again. So lots of police there. They're definitely well secured, I think. Um, no worries about that. But yeah, very exciting to see them through. And it's nice too, because I feel like we can really see them in the carriage this time. I feel like we see them even better than Queen Marguerite. But I also think it's because Mary is wearing white. And I think that really pops through the carriage, which I think works really well. So I see you can see huge crowds there as they depart. And yeah, so and the huge crowd shot. So it looks like the crowd has thinned a bit, um, but this will be an exciting, exciting moment too. There's the king and queen. Oh, so exciting. That must be so surreal. That must be so surreal. So surreal. And the kind of the interesting thing is it's like the same bodyguards who accompanied the queen to the palace are now the same ones accompanying the new king and queen out of the palace. So I just kind of like that little that little um, connection there. So it just must be so surreal to be there. Um, uh, I wonder if the carriages have bulletproof windows. I don't think so. I would think they um, don't. Cause like the hard thing is they want people to be able to see. Um, and I feel like you see pretty well here, but yeah, I mean, that is always a consideration. <laughs> Susan says the Brits do go overboard. But this is a little too simple. There must be a sweet spot in the middle. And maybe William can find it. We'll see. We'll see. Um, Ritz, this is fun to watch. But I also love the um, pomp and ceremony. Oh, and here's the kids, guys. Pomp and pageantry. But even more the simplicity of the Danish style. Yes. So we do have the kids there in the car. Unfortunately, it's not much higher. So you can't see them very well. But yeah, all the kids are there. You have Vincent there in front. You have Christian. And then Isabel, you can see next to him in the red. And then... Um, Josephine is kind of lost because she's wearing dark colors as well. So but I love, obviously, um, uh, uh, Isabella wearing red. I think that's a perfect Isabella wearing red and Mary wearing white, you know, for the Danish flag. Um, so, yeah. Do you know um, how Queen Mary and King Frederick met? Yes, they met during the Olympics in Sydney in, I believe, 2000. And they met at a bar, actually. And she, I mean, there's been a couple of different rumors I've heard, but um, she sort of met him and at first didn't quite know who she was. I've heard from some people that might not have been the case, but um, I heard that she wasn't sure who he was. And then they ended up starting to date and she moved to Denmark and had to learn Danish. And so, um, you know, Megan complains about the Brits, but, you know, Mary had Danish is a hard language. My understanding is Danish is very hard, very different. Some of the Scandinavian ones, Norwegian and Swedish are close to English. There's, there's Mary. There's Mary. Oh, so nice. So nice. And that's so nice. <laughs> um, uh, Petlow says Danes love the simplicity of their proclamation goes to the heart of Danish culture, identity, simple and efficient. No fuss. I think that is perfect. That perfectly encapsulates this day. Oh, they met at Slip In in Australia. Oh, that makes sense because somebody was, um, I, I think it was Royal Fashion News, which I don't follow quite as much anymore because sometimes they get kind of weird about William and Catherine, but they were at the Slip In and I was like, why are they at the Slip In? Is that in Denmark? But yeah, that is where they met. Where they met is the Slip In in central Sydney. Um, Basque, uh, uh, Basquat said, this is Denmark. We like to keep things simple, even though a ceremony would have been nice. The balcony and ride through Copenhagen, I guess, is our ceremony. Oh, and there. Oh, darn. I missed it. Um, we'll get back there again. But then you can see all the procession and everything. I mean, it's a pretty decent procession there. Do you know if there's a reception tonight? No, there is not. Um, I think there is a service tomorrow. Um, 
and something else tomorrow I want to say, but this is, this is essentially it. I know not like super, not the Brits for sure. Not, not like the Brits at all. Um, and which is, I think fine. I think fine. Um, but yeah, what will Queen Marguerite be known as Queen Marguerite? You got it right there. Um, so she will not be changing her title. I think it's perfect. Mary's wearing white here. Got to say it again. I think it really pops in the carriage. Um, it felt like it was hard to see Queen Marguerite, but Mary really, really pops, I think, in the white. Really, really pops. And that um, theater right there is where they held the Queen Marguerite's, like, her 50th Jubilee. If you can see it, that big building, right, this one, this one, um, that's where they held it. Because I remember seeing the coverage. Will the Danes do a public holiday tomorrow? I don't believe there it will be a public holiday tomorrow. But there are fireworks tonight. There are fireworks at the, um, and I got, because I got a press email about it. I was so excited. Um, uh, is it Chivoli Gardens? So what, the world's oldest amusement park. They will have some there tonight at 6 p.m. if you are interested, if you are in Denmark. Um, Zen Blaine became a YouTube member. Why, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, so they currently have a lunch reception on. Yeah, I think they have a couple of things, but not like anything, um, big in terms of like foreign royals, tiaras, nothing like that is planned. I think there's a church service. I think too, maybe tomorrow they're going to. Did Prince Joachim go all by himself? Apparently, yes. Uh, Chris Overby, we hope to see them on the balcony at Emlienburg Palace when they get there. Ooh, so another balcony appearance possible, guys. Here we go. Um, here we see them through the crowd again. So another one is possible. That might be exciting. So how long until a tiara event? I don't know in Denmark, but because we ha now have a new king and queen, what that means is more state visits because they kind of go and they do kind of a, a tour, tour de force, you could say. And imagine one of the first state visits maybe to another Scandinavian country. So either Sweden or Norway. I think that one would be awesome to see um, because that would be like just, oh, sorry. Um, very special, special moment. And so, yeah. Uh, Royal Daily Tea. Hi, good morning, Brittany. Do you, um, I do think there is any more bad blood from Princess Marie. She did a real event in Christmas. So I think they are over it. I mean, I think for the most part, yes, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't totally mark out the possibility that there's not so a little bit of frustration. Oh, hold on. There we go. Yay. Yay. Okay. Oh yeah. And there's a little, um, the opera house or the, the theater house right there where they had the 50th um, Jubilee. So great view though, of kind of Copenhagen right there. Yeah. So I hope they, I hope they don't, I hope they're in better shape, but I think still, I think it would still sort of, if I was them, it'd probably annoy me a smidge, but that's just me. <laughs> uh, Holly, they became a YouTube member. Why? Thank you so much, Holly. Um, Miss Sewing Bee said the Swedes will be next. I don't think it'll be the Swedes. I actually think the Norwegians will be next. I actually was thinking the Norwegians would be next overall. Um, here we have them coming by again because uh, King Harold is in pretty bad health right now. So it wouldn't be surprising to me at all if um, he decides to abdicate or follow Queen Marguerite's lead in this area because um, he, he seems to be almost... You hear about him being in the hospital quite frequently. So um, I wouldn't be surprised at all if he's still doing poorly. So, yeah, we'll see. Red, their wedding was very cool. Mary's gown was super edgy and unique. Fred was crying at the altar, like um, crying like he was today. He's such a, he's a sap just like I am. I think that is so sweet. Um, Judas got, <laughs> Judas got barbecue. I love it. Uh, thanks for your coverage. I'm not sure why I, as a Texas man with no Danish blood, got a little tearful when the king wiped a tear from his eye. I wish the best to the new king and to the Danish people. Kong Lev. Yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. It's so, I mean, it is just so cool to see, um, I think history in action. That's what I love about Royals is seeing kind of that history in action, that connection to the past. And so it's hard not to get like a little into it and a little, especially when you see all the people there too, like the thousands and thousands of people there who are just so excited for their new head of state. And, uh, there was a little girl and I don't know, I might've missed it. Cause, um, but there's a little girl, she was so excited and there they are again when the lights on inside, which helps people see them. I don't think that was on earlier. Interesting. 
So um, I just think it's so exciting. So I'm so glad you enjoy it and are enjoying this. But it's just, yeah, it was so nice to see him, like, you know, shed a tear that this was a big emotional moment for him. But I think he's um, sort of a, you know, a sensitive guy. So I think that's that's very sweet. Thank you. Um, all right, Aaron, Christianburg Palace um, sounds like something from Star Trek. It does maybe a little bit. Um, Queen Beatrix gave the Dutch a national holiday in Honduras of her mother's Princess Juliana. Does Frederick do something like that? I wouldn't think so. I mean, Denmark doesn't really have um, satellite. Satellite is not the right word. Colony is not the right word either. Um, but countries where they're the head of state, but they don't really totally run the government. Uh, Denmark doesn't really have that except for Greenland. And Greenland is made of ice. So, um, I mean, it's made of other things too, but <laughs> it does have ice. Um, so, yeah, it's a uh, pretty country. So, yeah. Oh, we have, did I miss, um, did I miss Holly? Holly is a new member as well. Thank you so much, Holly. Sorry if I missed you. And Zendane, Zendane, I think I got you, but just in case, thank you for becoming a YouTube member as well. Okay, so how many royalties are there? Lots. Uh, so we have, oh, um, here's the kids. Oh, there's the kids. Oh, there's Isabella. She looks so pretty today. Oh my goodness, does she look pretty today? Um, and so um, we have, let's see who's here. Uh, I can't really, can't really see actually. Um, so and there are obviously ruling family. I mean, there's a lot of principality families throughout Europe, especially in Germany and Austria and, and some of those other places. But obviously main ones we have in Scandinavia, Norway, Sweden, Denmark. We have Spain. We have Belgium, the Netherlands. We have the UK, obviously, Monaco, Luxembourg, Liechtenstein. I think that's it in terms of ruling families. I'm probably missing one or two, but that is what it comes to my mind automatically. <laughs> and, and I got them all. I would say that's pretty good. Oh, there's there they are again. There they are. So we'll wait and see if we have another balcony parents. So Stacy, no other royals from other countries in attendance? No. So this is a very simple event. And so um, we're not expecting to see any. Um, and hopefully, though, we will get a state visit soon. But we there will be a state visit between France and Sweden that is coming up in the end of end of January, the 30th and 31st, I believe, if I remember right off the top of my head. You have to excuse me if I don't. So that is an exciting, will be an exciting, exciting moment. Hope to see Princess Victoria become queen. Yes, yes, yes. Me too. I can't wait. Victoria as queen would be awesome. Are you going to cover the Prince of Brunei's marriage? He is so handsome and elegant. Um, Probably not. I tend to speak, speak, stick with just the European royals. Um, I mean, because there's so many other royal families that you almost kind of get lost in in everything. Um, I did cover obviously the crown prince of Jordan's wedding, but we knew a lot of foreign royals were attendants. So th that made sense. Um, but I don't, I'm not, don't think so with Brunei. Just, um, I don't, I just don't know that as much about the other, uh, Asian families really quite as much, or even really the Middle Eastern ones to be quite honest. Um, so yeah. Oh, uh, Becky says, I think a Mary went to Queen Mary went to school elementary school here in Texas. I love that. I think so too. I think if now that I'm, you're saying that, I think that sounds familiar. So I'm going to move my screen down a smidge. I have Danish and Swedish ancestry, English ancestry, Spencer on my mother, grandmother's side. So this is so cool. It is so cool. Uh, Queen Mary letting um, her husband shine two times at the balcony by himself was so sweet of her. Imagine um, <laughs> Megan being there. She would push Harry over the balcony to have her moment in this history. Probably, probably. Um, goodness gracious. It's, uh, Kenia says, I just, they just removed a public holiday. So I don't think they'll be adding ones, any ones, new ones soon. I don't think so either. Okay. I think we'll see. Okay. I was hoping the carriage was closer so we could see Frederick. I always feel like I pop out when I see Mary, but usually that's because Mary's like right in the shot. <laughs> <laughs> and she's really easy to pick out. Uh, hi, thanks, um, Gif, for covering. Um, when he was on the balcony giving his speech, it reminded me of the scene when Edward was on the balcony and the girl and the girl walked away. It is such an emotional moment for sure. It's crazy. 
Alexis says, I like the white dress. It was lively and elegant. It was appropriate like a wedding dress because Queen Mary is marrying her people when she became queen. Yes, absolutely. Okay, here is the carriage and we should be able to see the king here in just a second. I can't imagine how nerve wracking it would be. Oh, are they fogging up a bit? They're fogging up a little bit in there. Aw. I can't imagine how nerve wracking it would be to be, to be, driving a carriage in a city like that with so many people on either side. I mean, obviously the horses are very, very well trained, but you have obviously a moment where the horses could decide that they, they, they don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> um, obviously they said as well in the UK that, you know, obviously there was um, very big concerns that somebody would, um, that they were going to, uh, an anti-monarchy group was going to set off firecrackers and spook the horses and stuff, which is very, very serious. Um, I don't think sometimes people appreciate how serious that can be because that can be very, very serious because horses are powerful animals and don't think sometimes everybody appreciates that. So they've officially made it back to the palace. So the question now is, will they come out on this palace's balconies? Because you can see the balcony is right there. It's right there. So we shall see. There they are. It was funny because when they first came out, I thought this was the balcony they were using. And I was like, wow, there's not a lot of people there. But the other one's definitely a lot of people there. So we shall see. I really hope that happens. Um, Kimberly asking, did she dye her hair Mary? She might have. I wouldn't blame her. Um, I get gray sometimes. But I'm not, it's nice because my hair is blonde. And so it just kind of looks blonde. But it also looks gray to me. So I know other people probably don't notice it. But. I let my roots grow. Oh, there he is. He still looks pretty emotional. That's just got to be so weird that your mom is king one minute, queen one minute, and then you're you're king, and you're just like, wait, am I really ready for this? Um, Ritz says I really like Crown Prince Akon of Norway. He's an awesome speaker and funny. He is also easy on the eyes. He is. He's a handsome, handsome man. Um, and so, and it'll be. I I do think he'll, they'll be the next. I was actually thinking. Um, wondering if Harold would pass away. That was kind of my thought for a while. So, so they have officially arrived back guys. So there obviously is an inner courtyard there that the press is not allowed into. And there's a big, you can tell right there, there's a big, big crowd. So I'm thinking they might do a balcony appearance. What do we want to bet? It's going to take him probably good, maybe 10 minutes. Depends on if they're going to do how much they're going to do. So you can kind of get an idea. There's a lot of people there. Not as much as uh, in Christianburg Palace, but um, there's there's a decent amount of people there. And so we have the kids now arriving. The kids are officially now arriving. It's kind of nice now because you can actually see them. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. They're so cute. You still can't totally see them. Well. You can already tell it's getting dark there. It's kind of the sun is setting and everything. Oh, so part of me that wish I was wishes I was there. And a part of me is totally fine that I'm not because <laughs> it would be cold. It would be I like, well, and it's hard too because it's like, there's only me. So um, let's just say um, in, in Dead Sweden, this really wasn't the case, but in some cases it's not possible for you to be everywhere. Sometimes they do escort like the press from like one location to another, but sometimes you have to choose. Am I in a, a location or B location? And if there's only one of me, which location is going to be best? Um, that's really hard. Okay, oh, here's an overshot view. So that kind of gives you, there's like kind of four different palaces there, which is kind of cool. But um, so that gives you kind of an idea. To The Tivoli Gardens are fun in Copenhagen. Yeah, I would love to be there. If I was there today, I would be so like, okay, now that I'm done with this, I'm running over to... Um, uh, so this is them on the balcony. Somebody was asking about this earlier. This is them on the balcony. Oh, somebody was asking about the signing. But this is them on the balcony and the kiss. <laughs> and the kiss. Um, yeah. Oh, so, so awesome. So cool. And I love how she gave him his, his moment several times. Which he totally deserves. Because it is his day, guys. It is his day. And it's his mom's day too. Actually, what would be really cool is if at um, Imlienburg Palace, however you pronounce it, uh, we see not only, because the Queen Marguerite went back there. I would love it if she came out and he came out and they, they, they did a big thing together with the whole family. I think that'd be awesome. <laughs> um, 
Good save Denmark. Denmark. I believe that is what that's saying. Oh, he just seems so, so um, emotional about it. It's just so sweet. So sweet. Um, <laughs> so Natalie says, Brittany, are you going to do some videos about African royal people sometime in the future? At this point, probably not. Um, I'm, I'm stretched thin as much as it is. And I'd love to do like even more on the European royals. I just don't necessarily always get there. And because, you know, uh, obviously this was huge. So it was, it was, you know, I did, I did cover that, but um, when it comes to the other Royals, it's just time is also the issue. I just don't know quite as much about them. So at this point, I'm mostly mainly just focused on the European Royal families. And um, there might be a time to expand into the other ones, but at this point right now, I'm just focusing on those because I just know them the best. Um, obviously there is other news that comes out of Japan and some of the Middle Eastern countries and, and Asian countries I cover from t like maybe occasionally, but I, I won't cover that very much. Um, so yeah, cause I, I probably would have done something for the, um, coronation of the, uh, emperor. Is it Nasuhito? Is, is he the current emperor? It's Hirohito. No, Nasuhito. I think so. Sorry. I'm kind of blanking. Um, so yeah, so, um, th that I probably would have covered, but, um, probably not, probably not much else at this point. I mean, it's just a, it's just a, how much time do you have kind of issue? Jackie. Hey, Jackie, congratulations to the new King and Queen of Denmark. God save the King and Queen of Denmark. Yes. I hope you're doing well. Jackie, Jackie was on my London trip. I really hope they bring back a London trip love to do that again. Um, Petty, Petty Low, um, Frederick was emotional probably because he was reflecting on his mother's service to the nation. The abdication ceremony was emotional. She literally vacated the seat, final goodbye and left the room. Yeah. It was almost like much like her mic drop on New Year's Eve. It was kind of like a pen drop. Um, and so it's just so, it's very emotional, very emotional. And it's not only is it, was she a great queen, but she had served for so long and I'm sure he's kind of like, wow, this, these are huge shoes to fill. So um, it looks like, so we have an empty carriage now. So the Royals are out of the carriage. So they are moving that back. So again, guys, just waiting, hoping, fingers crossed that they have a balcony appearance. Um, I think they might. There's still a lot of people there. I'm really hoping. And again, it's an opportunity to, for Queen Marguerite to, after the whole succession and everything happens, it's an opportunity for her and her son to have a moment on the balcony, which I think would be very cool. Um, Deandra says it's a very old fashioned, very old fashioned event, but very classy as well. It was, it was very classy. They kind of switched to this proclamation in the 1800s, I believe. So something they've been doing actually for quite a while. Um, but yeah. Uh, Alex says all this comparison between the UK and Danish event a variety is a spice of life folks. Yeah. I, I do kind of believe it like that. Yeah. It's nice to see differences and variety and i'm still bummed we didn't get more tr appearances of the british coronation i'm still so bummed by that so bummed <sighs> yeah <laughs> uh, alexis says thailand has a royal family it does and it, the the current king has some there's some interesting stories attached to him so um oh let's see hold on Okay, I was going to see if they were kind of keeping people back and then we're going to let people in. That would be kind of one of our indicators. So um, I was just going to see. I thought they maybe had it been stopped. But it looks like people are like gearing up to run. Does it? not that what it looks like to me? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I will tell you guys, when I was covering Sweden for the, for the Jubilee, um, there was like this thing where I thought for all of a sudden for a second that we were going to have to run to our locations. And I was like, I'm not in a running outfit. <laughs> I got massive cameras and expensive cameras. Okay, let's see. Are they, oh, they're filling in. It looks like they filled it in a bit. Looks like they've allowed it to fill in. I think that's the right palace. I think that's the palace they just entered. So it looks like they allowed it to fill in. So guys, think things are looking good. I'm going to guess in the next five minutes. That seems about right. And it kind of would go along with the time of um, when the, the royal um, color is changed. So, yeah, we are at the correct palace. They're allowing the crowd to come in. I like 
saying right now, balcony appearance. So glad, Chris, you mentioned it. So glad, Chris, you mentioned it. Otherwise, I would have probably gone, oh, yeah, it's all done. <laughs> Everybody, let's go home. <laughs> okay. So, um, and Marie says there are three, Maria says there are three principalities, Andorra, Liechtenstein, and Monaco. The others are monarchies. So um, I missed Andorra and, and uh, I missed Andorra though, but I got Monaco. And K Palace says, yay, Thailand. Yeah. Awesome, Thailand. Um, it was so emotional watching her vacate the seat. He hesitated before being urged to take the seat. Yeah, it was, it was interesting to see him go, oh gosh, is, is this right? I don't know. Okay, so we're looking at the balcony, guys. Again, I would say about four minutes. They seem to do things right on the dot. It could be earlier, it could be later, but we will be, we'll be watching. <laughs> um, I love that Mary is that Mary is dressed to match the horses. Yeah, I think that is pretty. Now approaching Emlinburn Palace. Somebody's gonna have to teach me how to pronounce that. Um, I. There we go. Um, Mary's dress was stunning, so classy and elegant. Yes. The kiss was everything. It was. King Harold would never abdicate. He has said it many times, even though his health is not good. He has said it, but once one person starts doing it and it becomes a little bit more, um, you can see somebody moving back there behind the windows. Once it becomes something one person does, it becomes easier for other people to do it too. Um, and so I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying it, it won't happen, but I could definitely see it happening. Um, I, I won't be definitive on it because I think people change, I think because Marguerite was the same way and she ended up changing her mind. So, um, Cape house says, I believe the former queen was in such, in so much pain and wanted the accession to be a joyous event. Whereas King Charles was there still in morning. Yeah. I felt so sorry for Charles. He just lost his mother and he has to go all over the United Kingdom, visiting all the countries. And so it's just like, it just seems so overwhelming. Um, I would just be like, oh my gosh, I just can't imagine. Uh, the British coronation of religious ceremony as a monarch is head of the Church of England. Yes. I wonder if they'll change that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Look at those old windows. And you can see Josephine there in the background. There's Frederick. Oh, they're having a hard time at the, the door. Oh, there's Joe's. Oh, that's sweet with Josephine and her daddy. That's so sweet. Oh, let's put on the sound here. Oh, we'll just pull away for just one quick second. Oh, there they are. She looks kind of emotional. She's like, this is a big day. My dad's king. Oh, it looks like there's a camera going off behind them too. So we'll get the crowd shot from behind. Um, so that's, oh, there's Vincent. That is Vincent, the younger son. All right. And we'll just wait until they move back to, all right. So there they are again. Josephine. <laughs> And there's the, His Majesty the King. So I just pull away the camera sometime. Um, just for copyright reasons and everything. There we go. Aw. It's Christian encouraging his sister. Aw, doesn't Isabella look so pretty? I just think Isabella looks so pretty, guys. I feel like that would be just so hard to be a young teenager and a royal, especially as a girl, because sometimes you're not. Oh, they're going back inside already. Not the most flattering. Maybe. How will we get in? Oh, <laughs> oh, I'd just love to see Queen Marguerite come out there real quick with him. It's sweet that she's not, though. It's sweet that she's giving him his moment. I think that's very sweet. I think that's very sweet. Very sweet. So very emotional. Aw. Oh, there he is. There he goes. All the family. That was short. But that gives you an idea that people think the balcony appearances are really, really long. They're very, very short oftentimes. 
Um, I have that. It's always so hard. I feel like sometimes for me, cause it's like you only get so much time to do the very quick pictures. So we'll wait out here. Cause they're still, um, they're still, they still might come out again. So we'll just wait here for a little bit. Um, cause who knows they might make an encore. Oh, it looks like they're making an encore. Oh, and they're, oh, there's just the king and queen. Oh, looks like she's wearing a dress. There's a designer of a dress she wore and it had a similar buckle. So, I'm, oh, it's that Steven guy who made Catherine's dress for Trooping the Color. I wonder if he made this dress. I feel like it would have been a Copenhagen designer or a Danish designer of some kind. All right, we just pull away and then pull back. There we go. It's a gorgeous night there, isn't it? All right, so pro that's probably it, but you never know, so let's just... Although maybe somebody can listen to the Danish and they might know. <laughs> I do not know. So we'll just, again, just keep waiting a little bit. Uh, Queen Marguerite also said she wouldn't abdicate many times, but she still shocked everyone and did. Yep. So again, I think once somebody else does it and it goes really well, if somebody else is like, you know what? That don't look too bad. <laughs> just kind of love this shot here. Very pretty shot. Very pretty shot. And be interesting to see if they decide to again it would have been lovely to see queen marguerite at some point just because um awesome speaker that can't be said of frederick oh well i mean it's just hard some people are good at it some people aren't and if you're a royal you don't really have the option okay i think this is a new royal standard that they just um just went up the pole so we have a new royal standard above the palace recognizing him as king all right Chris says, cold and wet here, Brittany. Oh, I mean, I know I, I lived in a cold, wet climate for a while. and it's, it's, You can do it, but it's it's hard sometimes. <laughs> would it, I would have been awesome, but cold, yes. I also think the whole Elizabeth situation and her health were the reason she decided to abdicate. I think so, too. Um, M says, it's already dark here in Stockholm, Sweden. So it's just 4 o'clock there, and you guys can already tell, you know, the sun is setting. Love how King and Frederick is crying. I know. Um, K Powell says, I hope you can have some more correspondence in, in your roster in this year, Brittany. That'd be great. I was actually thinking about that today because I'd love to be able to cover more. It's just a timing issue. Editing takes a while. Um, that might seem some, like something really, really simple, but it, it takes hours and hours to do. And so it's it's just not always easy. Not always as easy as you might think. So it's just kind of hard sometimes. So yeah, so let's see, though. Um, we'll just keep on it for a bit because I know somebody asked for something um, in particular. So let's see if my um, I've had it. I have had a whole video recording for a while. I was really hoping we they would reshow maybe the signing. And so we'll just wait here. <laughs> Gray blonde hair is beautiful. That's the color Blythe and Danner has. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it works. Oh, here's a close up of the flag. So I think that is the king's flag there. So that is being flown above their palace, which is Frederick the Ace Palace. So yeah, exciting moment. Uh, Meza says you can see how happy they are. They're very happy. I mean, I'm sure overwhelmed emotionally in a lot of ways, but happy. Alexis says, God bless the king of Denmark and King Frederick and Queen Mary. Yes. Um. But they, the king and Queen Marguerite, are staying in different palaces in the Amelienburg Castle. So it's not sure. But yeah, they would be nice if they went out together. I think so. Um, Key Palace says, I hope you can expand and relieve the pressure on your channel, Brittany. Why, thank you. Oh, Emperor Naruhito of Japan. I thought it was Naruhito. And then I couldn't remember it was Hirohito. And I was like, but I think that was the guy who ended World War II. And then I was like, what was the guy in the middle? I can't remember. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, star focus in the Spanish file family is going to be juicy. There are a lot of troubles there. I mean, there's still King Juan Carlos is, is a bit of a bit of a disaster area still. But um, I'm excited, though, there will be a state visit between Spain and the Netherlands in April. I'm actually really hoping I can cover that. We'll have to see how things go, but I'd love to cover that. But we'll we'll have to see. 
hoping to see the whole royal family now. Yeah, it would have been nice. Um, but we did get to see uh, Frederick and Mary and the kids again, which was awesome. Uh, DM says, loved how they, how low-key and happy this coronation was. Queen Marguerite is always happy. Love her smile despite her back pain. And she's such a ray of sunshine. Okay, so we do have the signing here. I have it on my video. Um, so I'm just going to transfer it from my iPad to the my main computer here. And it will take it just a minute. We'll take it just a minute. So just be patient because it was like, I think I've been recording for like an hour and 45 minutes. So but it's at the very beginning of the video. So um, do we, we do have an African born Royal in the Europe princess Charlene. Yes. Of Monaco born in Zimbabwe and grew up in my country of South Africa. That is right. Uh, Shawnee says, can't wait for the official pictures. We may have some, let me see. Um, Cause I've been stalking the Royal family's website here. Um, so they do have, I love this. I've said this before. I love the Scandinavian Royal website. So they are absolutely fantastic. Okay. So the Royal house of Denmark website is temporarily unavailable while appropriate changes are being made following the succession to the throne. So it says meantime, visit our official Facebook pages and Instagram. So because of that, that makes sense. That makes sense. I can't totally fault them for that. Lots going on. So um, they are, I actually had to go on Facebook last night for a bit because somebody had stolen some of my videos and put them on Facebook. Um, and so I had to go over there and try to um, try to fix that. Um, so let's, it's, um, I was, yeah, ironically, one of the videos I had to report came up. Yeah, don't, um, I, I utilize different little clips of videos, but I do not steal entire videos. You're not supposed to steal entire videos. Um, people do that, though. People do that, sadly. Okay, so here's the official Facebook page. All right. Oh, no, nope. That's the Norwegian one. That's mm. okay. Just trying to see if we got. Oh, I'm not finding what I want. Well, it's helpful if they say the page and then share. Um, Denmark. Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, there it is guys. Okay. Sorry. You can't see it. I've been working on trying to get it up. Um, so here we go. There it is. The official Danish monarchy page. We have King Frederick and Queen Mary. And then we do have this great picture. Oh, look at that guys. Isn't that fabulous? absolutely fabulous. And this, they also have, um, King Frederick's official. Um, so there's kind of his official marker. So you see the F for Frederick and then the X for 10. So that's what we got right there. I'm just hoping that. Got the, oh, oh, that's a cool shot. Look at that. And that awesome shot. It's a great shot right there. Love it. So you can see him. Um, see the big cameras, the crowds, everything. All right. So was this this morning? This might have been this morning. I imagine this picture was taken this morning. You can kind of see a little bit of the emotion in his eyes a bit. It's a proclamation of ascension. Yes. Let's try this again. Sky News uh, UK doing great coverage of the new Danish monarch. Irish viewers should be able to view this. <laughs> He's just a mess and I love it. The emotion is real, which many can relate to. Totally. Um, <laughs> aw, I'm a bit disappointed because I want to see at least a tiara moment for Queen Mary. Yes, me too. Much like me and Catherine with the, the British... Um, coronation. The British coronation was very hard for me because I, I went to the event. Uh, well, I got there early and I was, I was there, but I couldn't see anything. They, they, they pulled down 
cell phone coverage. So I, I couldn't, I couldn't look it up. I had no clue what was going on. I had no clue how anybody looked. I couldn't tweet about it. I couldn't do anything. I was just standing there going, what do I do? And then it started to rain. <laughs> um, there is a, is a problem with Josephine. Her mother hold her by the waist all the time when Christian took her by the waist to go back. I wouldn't go that far. We don't know. I don't want to speculate too much, especially about children. You never know. Um, Rit says the king is probably going to run a marathon after this to work off some of the emotional waterfall. Yes, they do like to, to run. Uh, Becky says the love between them is so evident when they look at each other. I mean, I do think they're in love. Um, D said they already did a balcony. That is true, but they did a second one. Um, Meza says, I, I think Josephine was just overwhelmed. I think so. Um, Marguerite is beautiful and she's smart. I hope she can, um, help her son in his new role and her daughter-in-law in hers. I mostly hope she can see to her health, take care of herself, knowing her son is ready. Yes. Yes, I think that is fantastic. Okay, just switch in there real quick. Sorry, just wanted to um, just keep up with what was going on there a little bit. See if we were missing anything. Um, there's a Danish royal standard flying, or is it just a Danish flag? Um, I think there they did put up the royal standard later. Yes, yeah, she is smiling, waving in the car. 900 years since an abdication. This is truly a historic event. Here's a different angle. Yeah, I think they said earlier because it's later now because um, it's you can tell it's later now because it's darker behind the house. Yeah, I think Josephine's just a smidge overwhelmed. Um, <laughs> Crown Prince Christian also looked a bit emotional. I thought he was going to bite off his lower lip. Yeah, I, it, again, the huge emotional moment, especially if you're not quite ready for it. Just this is just re um, looking at some of the coverage from earlier. Queen Marguerite also said she wouldn't abdicate and as well here she is yeah and she looked very kind of happy to do so i mean emotional but also like ah oh. it's kind of like if you're ready to leave a job and you know you finally you finally get to the right spot and you're just like yes <laughs> um gl hunter what a great day yes um Malorca, he was just um as emotional as when they married Dana, a royal Danish standard above the palace. Brittany, why no tiara or crown despite no coronation ceremony? Um, it's just a different, it's just a simpler event. Isabella looks so pretty. Um, I sorry, I keep saying that. It's just a different royal event. This is much more pared back, laid back. Um, in 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 the Netherlands, when it was the inauguration of King Wilhelm Alexander, Queen Maxima wore a tiara. Um, the other royals did not for the official inauguration. And then when it came to, um, um, there he is. Um, then when it came to, there was a reception the day before they were, they wore tiaras. And so where everybody did all the guests too, but it just, it kind of depends on the, um, how they do it there. So I think it, it again, it all depends. So, so Queen Marguerite is just still Queen Marguerite. There's no dowager in her title. Because dowager usually is the wife of the king. So the king obviously has the title and the crown and the authority. And the wife does not. So um, she's a proud, she's so proud she's Australian. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I know Kate Powell's window stuck. I know. It's like window stuck. Oh, no. Thanks, Chris. I hope you had a great time, Chris. Didn't realize how tall the new crown prince is towering over his father. Yes. So uh, Queen Marguerite um, was about six feet tall. Her father was also very tall. Her sisters are pretty tall. So it's not a surprise that crown prince Christian is tall, but Frederick is not that tall. I believe his brother is also taller than he is. So it's just funny how genetics work, I think. And um, it's the old way the queen di has died. Long live the king. Yes, but it's kind of nice where the king... The queen is alive and the king is alive and we all get to celebrate. Uh, hi, Brittany. They are so excited. They are. <laughs> Wait for the kiss. Um, Frederick is so happy, but very emotional. 2 a.m. here in Melbourne. I think so, so glad there's so much interest and support from Australia. I think it's fabulous. They are such a beautiful family. Yes, I can't believe it's uh, I can't believe that a bad night kept me up until five this morning. Woke up at um, uh, 1515 have missed this historical moment in Danish history. And I live in Copenhagen, Denmark. Oh no. 
Oh no, I'm so sorry. It's so, it's hard sometimes. I know I haven't gotten the greatest night's sleep last couple of nights. Okay. Um, what a lot of questions about what Queen Marguerite will be called Queen Marguerite. So that she is, still has that title. Um, Ritz says King Harold has had a few falls over the last year. It's so scary. Yeah. And he actually fell recently in Denmark. I want to say it was twice even. So I'm just, I just really do think he might be the next, but it also could be a differences between men and women. Cause the two absolute voluntary abdications have been Queen Marguerite and um, Queen Beatrix. Neither one of them uh, in the Netherlands, it's a tradition in Denmark. There's no scandal that would force the queen to do that. In Spain and Belgium, they were different. The king had a illegitimate daughter in Belgium and she was suing for her title and she keeps trying to push. Like there was a recent thing where she was kept trying to push for like a bigger royal role. And it's like, you got your title. You get to go to official functions. Like, why do you need a bigger role? Like you're the illegitimate daughter. Yes, you are the daughter of the former king, but he's not king anymore. And you are also the illegitimate daughter. Ergo, you just don't get as much. This is just life. That's just life. Um, Kania says, as someone said, the youngest was angry at King Frederick. Well, it didn't look like it, it now, did it? No, I just think it's kind of overwhelming. And being 13, and just blame being 13, because we have all been 13. Uh, Alexis, those poor kids, they were born in the fishbowl. Being royal means you are in the fishbowl from the day you are born. Yes. I bet they are ready for dinner. I bet so. I bet they're like, yes. <laughs> It's a very, very cold there today. And that's why it's so short a stand outside. Probably that does, that does depend. Now Queen Mary looks emotional. She does. I love the dress. That's sweet kiss on the cheek. Uh, my other video is still transferring. So you'll have to give me a minute. <laughs> I love this. So much pressure on the gentleman working the doors. He knew. Yeah. And they're old doors. And so it's like, you can't really like force them because you don't want to break them and everything like that. So you can see the difference between Copenhagen and Stockholm. It's pitch black here in Stockholm now. Yeah. So Copenhagen is a little bit further south. So it's still, I mean, you can tell it's still pretty dark. This is still from the same broadcast. Um, it's getting darker, obviously, but not pitch black. Um, must be so emotional for the family. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think the former queen wants to give her son the spotlight. I think so. And I think that's great. Uh, Crown Prince Christian still has some time to be to become even more taller. Yeah, he had definitely um, guys just don't tend to stop growing until a little bit later. So he could definitely get get taller. Um, you Yun Tick says, I know she um, don't know how many miles is 238, but I hope they are trying to fix it. So I just don't want to watch Arrowhead Boulevard. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, Elmo's going to have your number. No, you may not. Sorry. <laughs> Um, Jojo, if Carl, Charles abdicates, I feel like it would be a perfect time, um, would be after William's kids are all done with high school. So Prince and princess have time to take care of them direct agree. If he was going to do that, yes, I would, I would recommend not until the kids are 18, all of them, but it all depends too. Um, oh, we do have a Svetlana. Thank you so much for the tip. I'm so happy for Frederick and Mary. So great to see that people show them love. They deserve it. Bless them both and their family. Yes. I hope they have a good night's sleep tonight. I'm sure there was like, there's like, oh, there's just like trepidation and like nerves going into today. Um, Cause who wants to speak live in front of that many people? Not only like the people in the crowd, but across online and across the world. It's not easy. Um, okay. He is the longest reigning heir. He was. So actually it was Charles and then obviously then it was Frederick. And now it is Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden. And remember, the king came, became king very, very young because his father had died. So he actually took over from his grandfather. And so Queen Victoria has essentially, or Crown Princess Victoria has essentially been that since she was um, like a two, I think. Is how it worked because uh, in Sweden for she was born and then her brother was born later and he technically had the crown prince title for about six months until they changed things and went to Victoria. Court Watch Australia, if you hired an RNN Africa royal correspondent and an Asian royal correspondent, you could interview them about events and changes in those areas. Yes. I mean, obviously, too, but I'd love to um, kind of get Europe established first before branching out. Um, so it's all in. 
it's all a long process and crazy, but it works. The Managiri, long leave, long live King Frederick and Queen Mary. Maggie says it's a beautiful evening. It is. So proud of our Queen Mary. She has done an excellent job. I think she is good. She's great. Um, it looks fantastic. <laughs> Uh, thanks for doing this, sweet Brittany. You are welcome. Um, how cool it is to see your son take the throne. I would have tears. Yeah. And I think it helps too that she's still going to be Queen Marguerite. I think it'd be hard if also she was just a princess. So um, as a Swede, I'm really sad we won't have a corn. We don't have coronations in Scandinavia. I know. I kind of like seem like maybe there was more that went on in Sweden and maybe Norway, but I'm not sure really. Um, Nana says, I love how the focus on family element of royalty, even though it may not always be perfect family focus in the limelight is so wonderful and necessary. I think it is. I think it is totally agree. Ritz, you are a one woman team, Brittany. Mucho work. Oh yes. <laughs> I am a one woman army <laughs> and sometimes I'm not the most efficient at that. So yeah. So we try. Um, Maggie says, I hope I live long enough to see William and Catherine reign. I think that'd be really cool. I just really, really do. Um, okay, pal. So thank you and hello back. Did you see the king kiss his mother on the head? Oh, I missed that. <laughs> Lizzie, did you report that content stealer? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Because I do want to post more on Facebook because I do have like a profile there. But yeah, sometimes somebody goes, hey, this is your video. And I'm like, it definitely is. It definitely is. <laughs> um. Brittany, you need more moderators or a PA to do the grunt work and you're free for content development. Yes, I need to get there. Um, get there for everything. Uh, geez, you have to watermark everything these days. Yeah, I do. But they like, they'll crop things in and stuff. Um, that's why I do um, put watermarks on my pictures because I, I know sometimes they get in a way, so I don't always do it. But um, sometimes you have to do it because it's like when you spend hours somewhere and you spend like, I don't, it's not handy because it's over there, but you know, I have this camera is not as nice as my nice, nice camera, but you know, this camera, this is what I film with. This is not cheap. Um, and so, um, I, you know, I invest back in the channel a lot. So, um, that looks amazing Two F's and the X in the middle. I love it. I love it too. So I don't, I doubt the new website will be updated until tomorrow. Maybe. EMB says 1700, the Royal Standard will be moved from Imlenberg, um, from Christian the Ninth's Palace. Beautiful and many blessings to the King and Queen. The PR communications team is working overtime to get it done. I'm sure. Um, standards are lowered at sunset, already pitch dark in Sweden. Um, Meza says, I love how you kept wearing um, Mary's back, rubbing Mary's back, which is so sweet. Ah, finally. Um, oh, I can see that. I thought they were changing things for that. Okay. Uh, when Queen Mary wears a tiara for the first time as queen, the weight will be worth it. She will look lovely as ever. I'm so excited about that. I think I'm so excited about that. Uh, a shame they didn't cheer the former queen out of the room at, after the abdication signing. A hip hip parade would have been nice since she looked like the ghost at the feast. That may have been how she wanted it. Um, and she may have gotten a lot of love beforehand. We just don't know. Uh, queen Consort Mary will be a great support for our Queen Consort and waiting Princess Catherine. Yes. People who steal other people's work are just lazy. They don't want to do the work, but want to take credit like she who will not be named. Yes. Um, so difficult for emotional teenagers. Their daughter was probably having a moment behind the scenes. Yeah, I think so. Okay. This is it. Yeah. So somebody asked about this. So um, I just wanted to make sure I got it. And so this is the big, the queen officially signing over the reins. And so she just does it simply signing off. So I'm just going to turn the volume down here a bit. And it looks like he's so emotional. It's so emotional in this moment. I mean, it just must be so hard to be like, Wow, I'm like this. Just a couple signatures changes my whole life. So, so I just did turn the volume back up a bit, and she's like, 
well, that's all folks. <laughs> you could just feel a little bit like, you know, she's, she's finishing up there. She's like, so she's, you know, obviously, <laughs> you know, she was the queen and she's not anymore. So she kind of let them know. And this was a very sweet moment. So I, sorry, I just paused for copyright reasons. So here we go again. So he's like, he's, I love, and Christian gives her his cane, her cane. I like how he looks at Christian and you can just tell it's kind of a, I mean, it's, it's a heavy moment here. This is a heavy moment for sure. Um, can, could anybody tell anybody who speaks Danish what she said? I'm just curious. You saw a little bit of, you saw a little bit. Um, I love that. Meza says, I love that King Frederick isn't afraid to show his feelings. He isn't. He isn't. Yeah. And so it's just simple. And then she's like, she's like, <laughs> she's like, that's all folks. <laughs> so she just kind of walks right out. She's like, okay, I'm done. I'm done. It's all yours. Uh, it's all yours, Frederick. It's all yours. Um, oh, God save the king. Is that what she said? Let's, let's listen to it one more time in case someone from Denmark knows. And again, I love how she kind of gestures him to the chair. Oh. Oh, did you see her? She was so choked up after she said that. She's so choked up. Oh. Oh, I so like, I so miss that. She might not have wanted to. Um, oh, I don't know what she said, but she looks, she, she just said this little bit and you just see her, her break totally. Um, oh, that's so sweet. Oh, I really wanted to know what she said. I think she said something lines of God save the King. Oh, thanks, Chris. Oh, God save the King. She said, Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, I hope she got like big hugs from like Mary and everyone. And they all had a good cry a little bit. She looks like she's about to cry. It's about to make me cry because that's just something so. But what's cool, too, is she gets to say it like she's not passed away. This is not a moment of sadness. She gets to say to her son, God save the king. You know, I'm so excited for you to be king. It's very sweet. Oh, so sweet. So, so sweet. <laughs> So just so such an emotional day. So wonderful. So amazing. Um, I'm so, so excited for, for this future. It's so sweet. So amazing. Oh my goodness. Bill says, thank you for um, this view of this family. I do not know much about this Royal line. Yeah, they are very close and um, stuff. Um, Susan says it was definitely awkward when she stepped and everyone was like, that's it. Yeah. I was just a little, a little bit and um but yeah she definitely broke um when she says it so um it's quite a precedent to have a danish monarch step down king frederick looks like he's just being step up very emotional response yeah and so let's um i just want to get back here a little bit um we'll just do it this way just because um how um how uh um uh like it's because the file's so big the the video is so big I mean, you can see, oh, look at her tears. She's like so broke. She's like, but it's like so exciting too. Cause she gets to see her son be that. Oh, it's just great emotions. Great emotions. Um, so sorry, I'm doing this slowly because otherwise the file is so big that it'll just go everywhere. So hold on one more time. Cause it's just so good. Oh, oh, makes me cry. Makes me cry. So sweet. Yeah, everybody almost cried. This was this was a the, everybody had a bit, you know, got a little bit choked up. Um, 
And, you know, probably hearing his mom say God save the king, too, just gave him a little bit of courage, too. Because I'm sure it's just very, very, just, you know, an emotional moment. You just got go barbecue says, and to see the new crown prince looking after her is sweet, too. Yeah, I loved how he was the one who got her king for her. I thought that was very, very sweet. Um, because I think it shows too, I think, um, being a good leader is having the heart of a servant. I think that's, that's a great example of good leadership. And so it's just, um, having that heart, even though he's still the crown prince and he could, you know, have somebody fetch it for him. He's like, no, no, let me get it for my grandma. Um, look at crown prince Christian's face. That's the queen said, God save the king. Oh, it's so sweet. So sweet. God is, um, save the king oh uh she is such an amazing role model inspiration i wish the really young generation would take after her yes she has been so so um such a you know she's been leading the country for 52 years and she's much much beloved so i think that's that's absolutely fantastic so big big moment yeah, so while seeing the coronation and now an ascension, we live in impressing times. I'm almost crying. Yes. Um, again, I think we'll see one somewhat soon. I don't know what in what circumstances from Norway. That would be that would be my guess for the next um, transition of power. Um, just, just, um, just, yeah. That's my, that's my next guess. Don't know for sure, but that would be my my thought. Oh, did you just go barbecue? Thank you so much. Uh, she may have been emotional because the last time she said this was when her father was alive and, and the king. Oh, that's so true. I didn't even think about that. Oh, oh, such a powerful moment. Wow. Just, I can't imagine like just going there and going, oh, just the connections and the, the past and everything. That would be, that'd be amazing. Oh. So guys, I think that is it for today. It's been an amazing, amazing day. Obviously, I think I'll try to post, um, try to get something together for it and we'll see how everything, everything goes. And um, thank you for covering this historical moment from Delaney. Um, and so I am so glad I did get to cover this moment. I still wish somewhat I was there, but um, I'm so excited that this moment was able to happen. There were a lot of, um, a lot of emotions involved and just such a beautiful, beautiful day and ceremony. And just so excited to see the new King and Queen of Denmark. So guys, thank you so much for watching and tuning in this Sunday morning. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys so, so soon. Bye.